Matt fans, welcome back. A few days ago, I was asked how you install the QGIS development version or the Bleeding Edge development version, and so I thought I'd take a look at it. Why would you want to do this? Well, to play with all the fun new stuff, of course. And about a month ago, North Road Consulting put on a great demo of Temporal Controller, and you can find a link to that video in the description below. <laughs> Now, this is the way that I would install the development version, but I'm not that familiar with OS Geo4W, so if you have any suggestions on how this video could be improved, please let me know. Up in the top right, you can see that we have got some versions going, and we have got dates until next packaging, etc. And if you go to the Download Now button, you'll see below there, we've got the latest version of 3.12, and the long-term release of 3.10. So if you go to download now, right here on the download QGIS for your platform, it actually tells you how to install Bleeding Edge. And so if you go for OS Geo4W, choose a 64-bit or a 32-bit installer. And if you want to get the Bleeding Edge, here it is. Choose Advanced Install and select QGIS Dev Full. So let's have a look at what that looks like. Here's our OSG4W setup program, and instead of going for the Express Desktop install, we're going to go for the Advanced install and hit Next. I'll install from the internet, and I'm happy with my root directory. That is all fine. Yes. And a direct connection. Very good. Now, one thing that I did have the other day when I was doing this, uh, instead of downloading from OSGeo4W, I changed my download site to OSGeo just because there was some problem with it. I don't know what, but if you do run into any problems with installation, just try another one of these and see if it works. And I'll go on to next. Then you'll be faced with some options and you can decide what you are going to install. Now, I might go for QGIS Dev here. That looks okay. Have a look what else is possible to install. I'm just going to keep everything else as it is and hit next. Now, apparently QGIS 3.12 desktop is required by the QGIS Grass plugin. So I'll go with the recommended there and install that. And off we go. Well, that took a long time, but the installation is complete. So that's good. We can hit finish and get started. Next, I need to find where that's been installed, and I'm just going to hit my Windows button and search for QGIS 3.13. Um, it hasn't popped up for some reason, but I've got QGIS 3.13 run command. So I'll open that file location, and that brings us into our OSGO 4W64 bin. And if I look in the bin, I should find... Under Q, the QGIS dev bin with grass7.exe. And if I double click on that, there we can see that QGIS dev is firing up. And here it is. Now things look very much the same. That's all right. And how can we know that we've got the right one installed? Let's go and have a look at help and about. And there we've got 3.13 master. Awesome. So this is the bleeding edge that we're in. And you can see a new button immediately on the toolbar called temporal controller panel. So do head on over to Niall Dawson's video and check that out. And in the meantime, please do not forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below. Happy mapping.